countdown. Oh. Hi, and welcome to the Branding Foot Nanny Show. We have an audience today that's going to be clapping a lot. My name is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Yes. We're, yes. We're, having, we're having a little technical difficulty, so it's going to be a lot of clapping here. My name is Gloria Williams, and I'm your host. And um, it's a wonderful day in California. It's 85 degrees. It may be 90 in the valley. I'm sorry, Chi-Town. It's about uh, below zero. And everywhere else that might be in the east coast of Midwest. But we'll keep it down for you here with the warm. We'll just warm it up for you. Um, today is a great day. It's a fun day. Um, today's topic is uh, kidpreneurs. Instead of entrepreneurs, we're going kidpreneurs. The children are taking over. The children are starting their own businesses, and they're they're just you know giving their parents their ideas, and the parents are opening up and listening to the children, and they're letting them uh, you know act out their future at a younger age. Um, just the other day, I was looking at um, this one segment, someone sent it to me, and there was a little girl in Detroit, and she calls herself Super super Business Girl. Super Business Girl, or something like that. But anyway, it was cute. And she was selling candles at uh, age five with her dad, however that started. And as her father would make her go up and do the entry, in, intro, like the sales pitch for the candles to be sold. And from that, she's come up to be this real little entrepreneur, super business girl. And I think it's really cute. And um, I may be wrong about it, but I'm thinking it's super business girl. I'm trying to think from my mind, from what I read. But I remember the little logo was really cute. And she was on Ellen's show, and she was on 2020. And I wish her a lot of success. But it, it made my thoughts like burst into like, oh my God, what happened? What is this kidpreneur thing? How did I fi forget that? How did I miss that? So now I, I caught it and I know some kidpreneurs and I have one here today and she's going to talk in a few minutes. We're going to introduce her and she's going to tell us all about her little business that she's starting. And I think it, it would be inspiring to a lot of children if you have children or grandchildren at home. You may not have them around you today, but you can always watch the show um, tomorrow or, or you can watch the show on YouTube. And you just go to the Branding Foot Nanny Show YouTube and put in today's date. Or you can just scroll down and you'll see the show Kidpreneurs. And this, this definitely is going to be inspiring to someone. She inspired me. So, you know, after talking to her for a few minutes, I'm like, okay, this is too good to be true. But it's true. So um, I'm going to take a minute break. I'll be right back. I apologize for the delay. Be right back, and uh, we're going to bring in our guest. We're back. A lot of clapping. No music today. I kind of <laughs> like it like this today. It's a little different, you know, all that music and thumping, thumping. Maybe this is a new uh, direction for the Branding Foot Nanny, you know? Keep the music kind of calm. No no words. Because last week it got a little crazy in here with rock, and I couldn't understand what the music was, and it was saying some crazy things, and you know, I got to protect my brand and my guest brand, okay? So I'm just going to look at today as a blessing. Thank the Lord, there's no music. Now, um, today is Kidpreneur Day, and we have a Kidpreneur here for you. Um, I don't think she'll get nervous. I think she can handle it, but if she knows you a little, I'll help her out. And her mom is here for a little moral support on the other side, and her play auntie from New York is here too. So we're going to hold it down really tight for Jordan Leftwich. Yay! Hey, Jordan! Hey. <laughs> How you doing? 
I'm doing pretty well. Welcome to the show. You've been here before, but I had no idea you were a little kidpreneur over there in the audience. <laughs> so, Jordan, how old are you? Tell everybody. I'm nine years old. Okay. And I come from Chicago. Okay, wonderful. Great. Uh, did y'all want to clap for that? Because that should... Okay. <laughs> home sweet so home. We don't want to lose focus home here. So you, you're from Chicago. Yes. Nine years old. Now, tell everybody what the name of your business is. The new. This is a new business for her. <laughs> so it's new, fresh. Okay. Kittylicious. Kittylicious. Okay. Kittylicious.com. Kittylicious.com. Could you spell that for us? K i t t i e. L I C O U S dot com. Okay, did everybody get that? Kittylicious dot com. You know, she got that from me. No, I'm just kidding. I wish she did get that from me. I wish I did inspire the girl. Maybe I did a little bit. So, Jordan, so tell us what Kittylicious is all about. Well, a little bit. What you know, you know. A couple of people, like when I go to school, I kind of see some people wearing things that I wear. Mm -hmm. So, I kind of get like a little upset and like I don't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. But then if they wear my clothes, then I feel like I've succeeded and I'm not so like sad or upset. Like I feel better because so, I know that they're doing it. So you're saying, okay, so when you go to school yes. and you would dress in your little outfits, yes. people, kids would watch you and then they would dress like you the next day. Look, Jordan. No. Or just like, in spite, what would they say? No, they wouldn't say anything. They would just like be walking by and I would see other people okay. wearing things that I have in my own closet. Okay, so, so do you think that you inspired them in some way? No. You, you're because saying... Because I haven't met these people. Okay, so you don't know them. You saw no. them with clothes that were similar to you. So all yes. of you all are dressing alike. Yes. Just naturally. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so you thought, I want to start a clothing line. Yes. Hmm. So what what are you going to start with? Well, I'm going to start with shirts. And then I'm going to go on to little outfits of shirt and pants. Okay. And then I'm going to go on skirts. And then after that, dresses. Okay. So what what is, like, tell me what the, the shirt, what are you going to put on the shirt that's, like, different? What do you feel like is missing in a shirt? Well, sometimes certain things can be a little tomboy, a little girly. Like okay. Maybe like a little skate park or something like that. Mm hmm So you feel the clothes yes. now don't really um they don't they're not fun. Yeah, and they're way too simple. Like, too simple. Yes. So what simple. are you gonna add some sparkle to some of them? Yeah. Some rhinestones? <laughs> I mean You said too simple like But I mean I do you know, I haven't really seen anything that stands out. You know, but when I watch you, like, look today. You get your little vest on and you get your little <laughs> chic look on. So you're going to add a little more pop to the clothes. Yes. A little more style. Mm -hmm. So do you feel that children's, uh, the children's clothes are kind of overlooked, like kids are overlooked? Yes. That and they, and like some people would like think, like, and it is really nice, but yeah. it almost looks like it's a costume. Okay, so it doesn't, okay, so it's like clown-like. Yeah, it's like some of the clothes. Yeah. Like are, they don't look like they're actual clothes. They almost look like it's a costume. Okay. It's a costume. So it's not stylish enough. Yes. So and I, so, you're gonna make the t-shirts. You're gonna yes. start with those, and you're gonna put your own little design. Yes. So then you're gonna sell. Them. Do you have an idea how you're gonna start selling them? Are you gonna take orders well, at school? You I'm know. gonna start like by handing out little cards. To okay. Everyone. Business cards. Yes. Okay. And just yes. inviting them to come yes. and shop. Yep. So you're gonna invite them to shop online. Yes. All right. And what else? Well, I'd probably just leave it to mom. <laughs> leave it to a mother. Yeah, leave it to mom. Mother over there. <laughs> well, the reason yes. I asked is because it seems like it's so much going on with technology mm -hmm. and kids now, and I was I'm trying to see what it is that that the children are looking at that we may not notice that they're 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 looking at to shop because i have a client who said to me that her daughter loves to shop online and you know claudia goes online and when she shops she looks for particular things so she taught me and her mom the other night what okay. makes a great website so are there some sites that your mom allow you to shop on or look at 
that you that well, you love? I don't do much online shopping. Okay. But usually when I do if I do online shopping, I would want it because like they have one site where it's girly stuff, one uh -huh. site where it's tomboy, one site where it's crazy. It, Wait a minute. So when you're saying tomboy, are you saying that there's girly clothes and then there's tomboy and then there's boy? No. Okay. When you say tomboy, are you referring to to young men? No. Okay. So girls and tomboy. Yes. So there are some girls that like a little tomboy look. Yes. Okay. So that's separate from boys. Totally separate. Two yes. different things. Yes. Really? Yeah. So you have girls, you have tomboy, and is there another category? It's like, like almost a little weird, but not weird. Nerdy, <laughs> like nerdy. Yes. Like almost really. Like yeah. You have to show me that. I have to <laughs> see that. So, are you gonna position your your shirts that way, like like you just said? Yes. So the three, not the two, not so no. girly, tomboy, and nerdy. Yes, because that's like actually a couple of sites mixed together. Okay. So do you think you would ask any of your friends for their opinion or their feedback? Yes, I would. Okay, so you have friends that kind of fit all the categories. Yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. So um, let me ask you this. Do you think that when you go to school, are you, when you go to school, are you, yes. you're popular? Are you a popular person? Well, I don't know much people in California. Oh, so, so you're new to it? Yes. Okay, so you have your sales pitch already. Do you want to run it by me? <laughs> See if you can sell me a show. You want to want to take a minute and think about it. Um, I can go to a break. <laughs> no, we're good. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Uh huh. Um, I'm I'm just I'm just a random person. <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> I'm sitting at the bus stop. <laughs> thinking. Well, I would um basically just ask a couple of people to um like how about this i'm gonna ask i'm gonna <laughs> say something about your clothes how about yes. this okay you and your mother together right yes pretend she's here with yes. you mm -hmm. oh i love your outfit that is so cute i would love to get my little girl like styled like that well actually you can you can um go to my website kiddelicious.com oh. and they have really nice clothes, so many to choose from, actually. Really? Well, my I have twins. I don't have twins, everybody, so please do not spread that rumor <laughs> that the foot nanny has twins. I'm pretending I'm sitting at the bus stop, and Jordan and her mother walks up, and I'm admiring her clothes. Mm. Whoa, Jordan, I have twins. Do you think that, um, is it a limited edition, or can I buy enough for, for both of them? I can buy match them up? They well, will, there will be like a couple of specials. Okay. Like if you buy a cup, like if you buy a couple, like it two. Would be, yeah, okay. it would be like um, not mixed together, but like half. So you mean buy two get something? Like get a half off. Oh. So. Okay, you are a like kidpreneur. <laughs> I like that whole thing. Buy two get half off. Am I gonna get half off for of the uh, third one or buy two um, and I get half off the second one? Well, if you want like three, it could be mm. like for their little like, cousin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, enough. Like it would be half. Like it would be half of two. Okay. And then part of one of like what I'm selling. Okay. So you got a you got a little system you gonna work out. Yes. Which a mother would have to yes. approve because we don't want the child to end up in the poorhouse giving everything away. <laughs> so, so Jordan, this is really nice. It's exciting. So tell me this: Do you do you have a Facebook yet? Did your mom set that up? Um, yes, I have a Facebook account. Okay, Instagram. thank God. Instagram. <laughs> okay, Instagram. So don't try Twitter. to get it. She's got it locked down. Go ahead. And Twitter. <laughs> and Twitter. Yes. So you have Facebook. Instagram and Twitter. Yes. That's great. So have you, um, so this is interesting because now when you post, that means your mom would have to probably post for you. Mom, are you going to post for her? How is this going to work? Do you know? Actually, with this being a, being her brand. Okay. I'm going to just oversee, but I'm going to allow her to do 
everything. Oh. I'm just going to oversee everything. Like right oh. now, we're actually in the process of launching her website. Okay. Which the website should actually launch on the 18th of March. Okay. And it's kittylicious.com. Okay. And from there, she will be the one uploading the products. Mm -hmm. She will be the one that's shipping the products out. Wow. She's in charge of everything. I'm just the overseer. Well, I must take some blame for that. I mean, I her. Uh, I know when I had my little <laughs> shipping thing going on, Jordan was helping me, and I she would do the boxes, and I guess that, and I remember she mentioned something about clothes, mm -hmm. but now it's like, okay, I inspired her, so it makes me feel good that she will be doing her own boxes, because it's a lot of work, but it's very rewarding, right, Jordan? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cute. So I need to. So what if what if adults want to um, buy a kitty licious? It's not for us. It's for the kids. Well, I will make some things that's for like moms. Up a little. Yeah. Okay. I can go. Auntie, up a I'm an auntie. <laughs> <laughs> I can go because I want a kitty licious. I want to be. I'm a kitty licious aunt or something like that. Yeah. Okay. But I just want some sparkle. Yeah, I'll make a couple of things that would be for up. Oh, for like, the grown-ups. Yes. That's nice. So we're going to call it for up. You're going to say for up. Is that what y'all call it? Up? <laughs> for the grown-ups? <laughs> yeah. For up. Well, I'm glad I'm a up. <laughs> Good thing it's not for the down. Let me be like falling down, whatever. So anyway. <laughs> so have you, any, you do you have an idea of what kind of logo you want? Well, I'm going to have, like, it's going to be a cute little signature. Mm-hmm. And Kitty Licious, it's going to be pink. Oh. And then there's going to be a little picture at the top that's going to be like a comma almost. Oh. But it's not a comma book. <laughs> it looks like a comma. Yeah. It and looks like a. Yeah. And. <laughs> that. But it's like <laughs> a little cat. Okay. Like, but it's a kitten. So when that's all. A sparkly kitten. So when that's all going. Yeah. Um, we'll bring you back on a launch day. Yeah. Okay. Like almost like the foot on your foot nanny. Mm -hmm. It would be like a little kitten. Oh, okay. Yep. That's cute. Wow, a little blinged out kitty cat. Hey, kitty cat. Do you, do you have a cat? Did you ever have a cat? I had a cat. I grew up with cats. Um, well, you ever had I'm a cat? not so good with cats. So you have a dog? I know you have a dog. Yes. Okay. But, well, uh, my grandma has a cat. So. Okay, so kitty licious. I like that. It's cute. I could even see. Can I just add a little something because you know I'm the brand of foot nanny. I can't hold it. Um, I see when you say kitty licious, I see lip gloss too because licious like glossy lips. Mm -hmm. So you can do a little lip gloss. Yes. All kind of stuff. This is going to be cute. I want a little makeup bag that says kitty licious. <laughs> I want everybody thinking I'm crazy. Tell me why she got that makeup bag that said kitty licious. But you know one thing I will say when it comes to your brand you have to guard it with your life. Mm -hmm. You listen to people. You don't get mad at them when they give you some advice or whatever. You just listen and say, oh, okay, mm, mm, okay. And even though, because I, I wasn't good at that. I, as soon as they give me advice, I'm like, I already did that. I'm like, uh, uh, I, I wasn't really good at that. But now, I just let them say what they say, and I go, hmm, okay. And then you know which avenue you want to go to. So if you feel like you don't want to do up, you don't have to do up just because I said up, but I'm you know I'm looking for my up shirt. Yeah, I was already gonna up. Uh, I was gonna do like mm -hmm. a couple of shirts that yeah like, for other ages. Yeah, that's that's so appropriate. How you doing that? Because <laughs> yeah. you know sometimes I've seen mothers, not saying any in this room, but I've seen mothers who want to dress like their daughters, and it's not that cute. But this time Jordan is gonna have a up shirt. So any mother that really wants to um, channel their do their inner child. Through their through their daughter, um, you'll have a little up shirt from kittylicious.com. So we're gonna take a break. We'll be right back, mm -hmm. and this is the Branding Foot Nanny Show. Yes. There we go.
Love the claps. Love the claps. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Branding for Danny show where we brand you and we help you understand the difference in a business and a brand. Some people can think of a name right off the back and it's a brand. I believe Jordan has thought of a brand because Kitty Licious is very easy to remember. Um, even though it's a business name now, it's definitely going to be a brand and it might go a little faster than she thinks because people are looking for the little kidpreneurs to come on the shows and talk about their 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 brand i went on the little website the other day for the little super girl super what do i say super business girl mm -hmm. and i was gonna buy a candle and everything said sold out i was like what i mean that's good but i was kind of hurt because i really wanted me a candle i thought they might have had a back order button Mm -hmm. like a wait list so that's something you might think of Jordan and I, I'm going to start that <laughs> because I don't have a wait list but I got some things that's getting ready to happen in my life that's mm -hmm. really special and I feel it I just feel it <sighs> and I'm going to have me a wait list <laughs> button and I think that's something that a lot of websites don't have because you're going to sell out you are going to sell out as soon as it comes out everybody's going to want it I think you're going to have to end up with a backpack full of Kitty Licious t-shirts mm -hmm. and you're just going to be selling from the backpack but do me <laughs> one favor when you when you sell things to people I know you probably know this your mother's going to equip you with a little receipt book and that's so you can get your little stuff together with the taxes and stuff because I saw the little girl on TV and she's just selling candles and putting the money in her pocket like okay the mama didn't tell her to write a receipt I'm looking like maybe that's why I sold out but I really want you to do your kidpreneur business just like it should be ran and like your mother says, she's going to give you the free reign to post your things and be consistent. Is there any question you may have for me that I might help you with today? <laughs> Just any question. If you don't mind, can I jump in? I have a question. Oh, for sure, brain. Mom. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. How, with the whole, what we have set up with her um, website is the PayPal. Okay. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Absolutely. PayPal. Absolutely. Now, when you're utilizing PayPal, it asks you um, the text. Okay. And it asks you um, how do you situate the taxes per state since the business is based out of California. Okay. If someone were to purchase in Nevada, mm -hmm. do you have it set up or can you set it up? To where so you have the taxes in Nevada paid yeah. and the taxes in California, you can. or is it just one, or is it both? Well, you can't. And, and certain websites um, don't allow you to customize that and drop it down and all that, mm -hmm. you know, with the Dropbox. Mm -hmm. But and 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 what you could do is add the tax in. That's one way. Okay. I, I've done that. I, I add the tax in, and then when it's time for you know tax time, you take that. You can take that amount out, and and as you you know after the sale you can go in and then put the tax in. You can do that. You can say because I've had things that I went online and said taxes included. Okay. You know you can say that and that way it's in. What you could do first though is look around like online, see what the tax uh, chart is for the entire United States, mm -hmm. and may Google that and it'll come up and it'll show you the sales tax for every state. And it's pretty similar. It's mm -hmm. very close. It, it's almost some places are a little more than others mm -hmm. some people some states don't even have a sales tax mm -hmm. but I think it's more of that's the sales tax but you have to be weird uh, you have to know that you have to pay a sales tax for your business being here regardless of if that person has to pay they're still gonna look at you as a sales. so that's something for your accountant and you to sit down and talk about okay. um, I don't usually um, discuss really nothing about that kind of stuff unless it's uh, <laughs> with my accountant um, but I say do it that way and that way you starting off right mm -hmm. um, I had an accountant in Chicago and now I have one here in San Diego whereas she had to look up Chicago tax for me to do the, the taxes from the year when I started when I came here I came here like half a year mm -hmm. so she had to look at that okay. so I would say go through through that system but PayPal is really great because PayPal to me is one of the most secure um, sites there is to accept money. There may be others, but I don't know about those, how secure they are. Okay. I know for, for a fact PayPal is, you can get all kind of reports, mm -hmm. um, you get emails once somebody orders, you can send an email to you. Um, 
if Jordan is, you know, in school, you probably want, of course, want to send an email to you. And then that way you'll get a, a notice that somebody just ordered. Like, before I came here today, I had someone order. And I was like, oop, and I heard the phone ring, and I went and filled the order. So it's really exciting when you start getting orders. Mm -hmm. um, she may have a lot of, um, I see, like, more like display, like events, little uh, uh, mm -hmm. basketball game or whatever she can display her, her, her Kitty Licious products. Products. I mean, uh, wear and lip mm -hmm. lip glosses, which I'm hoping for some Kitty Licious lip gloss. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> um, just helping a girl out. So I think that those tables and stuff. When you know, when mm -hmm. you when you buy the vending tables, mm -hmm. you know, PayPal. You got a handheld one. You can do it. I use Square also. Square is really easy. Um, they send a free thing too. So I think it's good to have more than one because if something fails, you got to have backup. Right. So like today, no music. We got backup. Right. Clap. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Love it. So that's that's that question. And, and so I just think that's good. I'm, I'm glad you did set up on PayPal. Um, you can also do gift certificate on PayPal. And if you want help, of course, I'll help you for no charge. Unlike people did me, I charge and charge it. Listen, sometimes if you know things and you know you can help somebody out, they just ask them a question, just help them out. Mm -hmm. Trust me, the blessing will come back. Somehow, some way, it'll come back. Mm -hmm. But there's a button um, for uh, PayPal that you can mm -hmm. make a gift gift certificate. So what I did was, I did it myself, but what I, I decided to do was let them choose a denomination. I didn't force a denomination, like $50. Well, maybe she ain't got 50 Maybe she got 20 and mm -hmm. she sees something there because I do have socks on the site. So maybe she just want to give someone a $15 certificate and I do offer free shipping. So if it's a if it's a <laughs> pair of socks, they get a pair of socks and I put a little note with it sometimes, okay. you know, I might throw a little sample of something in. So I think give people the choice. You know, let them have a choice of what they want to want to buy. Jordan, okay. do you have any idea the price range? Are you going to be like a uh, Gucci level? <laughs> Or are we going to be able to just, you know, buy maybe a shirt for like $20, $20 $15? Yeah, just about. In there? Yeah. 15 and up, somewhere in there? I would yeah. also like for her to, and she and I, we discussed it a little, but we didn't go into great detail about the Kitty Licious Corner on the website. The Kitty Licious Corner would be the portion of the website where you have all of the discounts. Oh! You know, so when children actually have, you know, they receive their allowance and they can actually afford oh. to purchase things, you know, from their allowance money. Allowance money. Allowance. You know, I remember so. that. <laughs> you, you get allowances too? No. You don't get allowances? <laughs> no, my mom doesn't let me have allowance. But there are kids oh. that get allowance. I yes. like the whole allowance thing. That's cute. Yeah. So, so the average allowance, what is the average allowance today? Anybody know? It's dependent on is age. Is it five dollars a week? See, I had I gave my son allowance. That is allowance. not enough. I did give my child allowance, okay. but it was based off of his age. Okay. So the older he got, the more it became. Mm -hmm. But it was also attached to his chores. So the more yes. the older he got, Girl, the more chores he got, the more money he got. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, my allowance is uh, connected to my grades. So. That's that's mm. no my son. So got you get so in other words system. So your allowance came when you got an A. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got an A. Oh, well that would have made right me. for each A. I believe my father told me it was twenty five dollars. What? A. Girl, I wasn't an A student. So, but if you got an A, right, that was twenty five dollars. So he pushed it there. Did you get an A? Did you get one A? I got one A. One A. And then I got a lot of Bs and then Cs. But okay. what it did was it it took me from being a C student yeah. to becoming a B student. Okay, that's good. And when I became that A B student, that allowance went out the door. Now, it's, now keep it up. Okay. So well, I now, not now have those numbers because my son he got for A's. I was given a hundred dollars a piece. What was oh, I? No. Woo! I was no, but this you're that was New about, York. You're oh, talking about okay. junior high and high school. When did it end? What age? Um, it started uh, at the seventh grade, seventh eight uh, until twelve. Okay, and at twelve you get a hundred dollars for A. He got a hundred dollars. Woo! That's so, right. oh, but my, my son came with all A's. Mm. So at a hundred dollars a piece, if he I, made sure he was coming with those A's. 
days. Mm. So, you know, but if was, I got a hundred dollars for an A, oh, I would have been straight A's. Uh, I would have been a chemist. I in why I didn't use these numbers at NASA. These numbers work for me. Now. I would have been a NASA chemist. I would have been a chemist why did I or not know a, you earlier. Uh, Jesus. Something. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I, I even, but I'll but do that's the same good with though. my nieces and nephews. But it's yeah. twenty five. I don't. Yeah. I don't uh, surpass twenty five. Well, well, you know, well, that's, my son now he still gets it while he's in college. Yes. He gets bonuses for dean's list. Mm -hmm. So every time he makes the dean's list, he gets a nice bonus. Oh. Well, we got the mother of the year here. No, ma'am. She's I, the mother I, of the year. Yes. I vote her mother of the year. <laughs> but let me tell you this much. That formula that you had what, about the lounge, whatever the Correct. tour was, mm -hmm. I saw that on Susie Orman's show one night. Mm. She asked uh, this, the, she told the parents that they should give the child um, make a list of chores mm -hmm. and um, then rate them, you know, the dollar amounts. I'm like, man, I was good. I wish I had that. We just got one. I don't even remember. Did we get, we got a little something. I don't think we got allowance. I think it was more like uh, my mother and father. My, I know my father was really strict. My mother was, you know, she was stand by her side. Um, he would say, uh, if you once you did your chores, you can go outside. We just wanted to go outside. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to go outside. Mm -hmm. And then the allowance thing started a little bit, and then all of a sudden it was like, okay, it's time for you to get a job. You gotta get a job. So I was going to school and I was working at Burger King. Mm. <laughs> Love the Whopper with cheese. If you ever go to Burger Sidebar. King, let me tell you something really? about Burger King. When you go through the drive-thru or you go in, order your burger off the broiler cut in half. That means they're going to cook it fresh. And they know you are a burger girl. If you know a burger guy, if you know, that's my secret. Okay, Jordan? That's my secret. So we're going to take one more break, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to wind things up with the Branding Foot Nanny Show. I'll see you in a few seconds. Hi and welcome back to the Branding Foot Nanny Show. We're back. Um, we have a call. Let's take this call right quick. It's gonna be a little short today. We got a late start, so today's show is gonna be a little shorter. Hold on one second. We have a call. Hello. 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 Hi, Arlene. Yes. Oh, I know the voice. So you check it in. You you did exactly what I told you to do. Call in and give me an update on those seven steps from last week. We had seven steps of how to jumpstart your business. And Jordan clearly heard it because she has all the seven steps nailed down. So where are you? She was great. <laughs> you love that? She was great, by the way. Uh oh, you had a compliment, Jordan. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, what's the question? Okay, um, I ha I did everything. I have uh, um, the Instagram and the Twitter account set up. Yay! Woo! <laughs> Good job. Congratulations. <laughs> Tag me in a post so we can start following you now. Okay. Okay. Now, I have a, a question, an Instagram question. Okay. Um, there are some artists who have uh, posted videos on YouTube of their performances of the music. Uh, some are individual artists, some are choirs. Um, and so I wanted to know, can, can I um, 
do a link or something uh, of those, like where you have the pictures on uh, Instagram. Can I uh, let, put those videos up on Instagram of these different people and their performances? Oh, so wait, so they are performing your music that you sell? Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, that's what so, they're doing. And they purchase it from you. Yes. Okay, so, oh, that's good. Well, on Instagram, you can only do, like, um, 15 seconds at the most. But what I probably would do is maybe make a feature at the top. Um, you can do, pick a day of the week, like a Friday or a Thursday or a Sunday, because it's gospel music, right? Um, not exactly. <laughs> some of it is gospel. Some it's not is gospel, yeah. Some is gospel. Some is so I would pick a day and and maybe feature uh, a link on your Instagram. Like, remember the top area of the Instagram? I told you it's only one spot. You could put a right. link. Right. Okay, and that's at the top under your name where it says your yeah. website. You put your link to your your YouTube. So have a feature. You know, and when you feature that that day, or you can feature it for the week, it's up to you. But you don't want to lose the fact that um, somehow they got to be able to reach you to get that music. So you got, if you, if you list it, you got to pick a day to feature it and then take it back down and put your website back up. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? But in your, and then you post. You put a post up and uh, maybe take a picture of them and then put a post up and say, uh, today's feature artist, if you click the link up top, up above, you can hear their song. Their song uh, was, you know, purchased through our sheet music, blah, blah, blah. Call this number or, you know, email us if you want to purchase sheet music, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Right. So yeah. you can put as many words as you want in the Instagram post. You just have 15 seconds of video. Okay. Okay. That's good. You're doing good. Yes, yes. Okay. And I did, did have someone to call me, mm, like, Tuesday, uh, and you were asking, like, who who would use it, and it was from a high school, the okay. music teacher, and her group was going to be in a competition uh, in the next couple of weeks, and so they wanted to get music uh, to perform in this competition. Oh. So. Good. Well, you know mm -hmm. what? I think that you need to, like I said, tag me because I want to put a blast out of repost or something for you. Because because the fact you learned this, you know, through the Brandy Foot Nanny show, I can repost what you said, and I think it'll be fun. Okay, yeah, that's good. I, that's really interesting. I know someone who does that for a living. They actually call. Um, they watch. They go through the internet and look and see who's, they Google and look and see who's using music. But she's a little different from you. She She's hired to go after them. Like, you're using that music. You know, so. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'm glad you got the nice customers that call you to buy that music. Really good. So, good. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you so much for Nanny. Okay, thank you. I was a little okay. low. Now I got louder. I hope I. Hope that didn't reflect too crazy up in here. I'm good. Oh, okay. I'm good. So we can take this off now. Okay, great. I'm gonna plug that. I wanna say thank you for um being a part of the Branding Foot Nanny show today. As, as far as watching, staying in tune with us and getting to meet our little guest Jordan. Jordan left with that's a little Italian in there, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I want to say thank you to the audience who clapped for us because we didn't have any music today. And I kind of <laughs> like that. It was a little subdued. Clap, thank you. Clap. We get it around. Thank you. And I'll <laughs> tune in next week because I'm going to do the PGA next week in Florida. And so I'll be doing Foot Nanny 2000 treatments on all the pros and their wives, pro golfers. It's going to be fun. Um, so I'll give you all the highlights next week. So. See you next week. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you for having us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.